Hi everybody and welcome back to Kibbo's Comfort Kitchen and today I want to talk about Danish pastries. For those of you that are not familiar with it, you might want to stick around just to get a look at it and those that are, and if you live in the Lower Mainland, have I got a surprise for you in the Lower Mainland of Vancouver, BC. I found a relatively new place called My Original Danish Pastry Baker. They are in Tawasson Mills in Tawasson. It's, uh, I live downtown so it's a bit of a drive, but I gotta tell you it's well worth it. Uh, the, have just got here uh, within the last year. It's the real deal. It is hard to find good Danish pastries anywhere, really. And these people are amazing. It is true to form. Also their bread, their rye bread, they have two different kinds of rye breads out there that are great, uh, one seed, one without. And the French bread, the Dansk uh, uh, Fonsbrot, is actually the closest I've ever tasted uh, without being in Denmark. So for those of you here in the Lower Mainland, please check it out, let's support our local Danish businesses, um, and even if you're not Danish, go support it, because the food is amazing. The pastries are unbelievable. Did I say they were really good? They're amazing. So, without another word, let's go check out their product and see what they've got to show for us, okay? <laughs> yeah, like this. Okay, there we go. So, where are we right now? What's the name of your shop? We are at my original Danish pastry maker in Tawasi Mills. Yes. Okay, and your name is? My name is Lisa. My name is Susie. Hi Susie, Lisa. So this, I'm very excited because it isn't often, well, we don't have anywhere left that is close to uh, downtown Vancouver where I can go and get my Danish treats. And I know there's a lot of people out there that would love to see what you've got. So let's start with what your pastries are that you've got yeah. here. I started with Danish, and Susie started with Danish, but we had some topping, so we all came to follow with. We have a little flow care, today we have made a pumpkin care and a gospel stuff. Slowly. Sorry. <laughs> so what's ones here? What are these ones here? Puff pastry, has a custard, yeah. and uh, what's it called? Whipping cream? Yeah, whipping yeah. cream and a raspberry filling inside as well. Okay. And these ones with the pyramids, what are those? The bottom is like a sponge cake, it has the apple in the middle, and custard, and whipping cream, and the mask top. And, and a little one over there is like everybody else knows, Kansi cake. Yeah. And what's in, what's in the Kansi cake? Yeah, good gang marsipan, some uh, Vienna, Danish, I got a lot of marsipan inside. Okay. And the dressing on top, the icing. And what's the ones down below? The middle one. They don't make this. Another one, man, they blew my wood. Those are almond corns. So there's a lot of almond in there. And chocolate okay. dipped on the sides. Okay. And what about these ones? So have you flute butter, the cones, uh, loose uh, chocolate or a little milk chocolate? They all come in mini. Awesome. And what are these amazing looking things? Yeah, yeah, the uh so have a candy on cooler for the show of below. So these ones are rum colors, uh, so, then, so then there's uh, no actual rum in there, as a lot of people do think there is, but there isn't. And uh, a lot of kids love it. Okay. Except for like the them, yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, have we, yeah. Uh, What's this one here? Go up in the dance kringle, as we all know it in a few pieces, and we have it also in the whole kringle and stinger. So this one is, um, it has a lot of almond and uh, puff pastry around it with a sugar on top. And Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Sounds good. Have we did them blueberry or henbær or cream in some spanner? Yeah. So these ones are just what they would call Danish, with uh, like uh, of course blueberries and raspberries, and then we have one with just uh, custard in the middle as well. Awesome. Oh, here we have in midi have we the bjørneklo with kanel or cream in middle. So these ones are bear claws, and so it has lots of uh, cinnamon and sugar and almonds as well. And this one? Oh, this is some double canel snail, uh, also with canel in the middle and a little glasur on top. So this one is a cinnamon bun with uh, chocolate and regular icing on top as well. Okay. And then we have Danish tea with a little ramonsi and a little virkis on top. Hazelnut paste inside, and then it has a uh, pastry around it with coffee seeds on top. 
Wow, you guys have got everything here. Oh, and don't let's not forget the last for best. And what's the difference between these two? Uh, the one has season side and the other one has no season side. Okay. And it's just like a white yolk there. Okay. Well, th ladies, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, this is so much fun. I can't tell you now I'm about to buy a crap load of uh, pastries right now and get home as fast as I can. <laughs> so, again, thanks very much, and we hope everybody comes out to see them. Let's support our local Danish businesses, okay? Thank you. Okay. Oh, hi. Sorry, I couldn't wait. You might have seen these. Excuse me for eating, talking with my mouthful. As you can see, their product is amazing. So like I said, if you're going to live in the area, please go out, take a look at their stuff. You won't be disappointed. See you soon.